and today we are going to be talking about methanol, or as most people call it, natural gas, and why Wayne Township should switch completely from it diesel to natural gas. So the first step in how we make um, natural gas is living organisms die and their bodies decay into the ground. Then they get compressed by lots of earth, which is dirt and stone. And then, which becomes this liquidy substance called petroleum, which is basically gasoline, oil, natural gas. Then it gets drilled out of the ground, which is also called fracking. Then it's converted into clean fuel that we can use in everyday life. In the place where you can, where the school district can buy methanol, is at the BAA in the National Airport. These are some of the facts that we found about the bus originally, is that it uses 60 gallons of gas, and it um, every six miles it, they use, uses up one gallon. Um, th we found out that there are 162 buses in the whole Wayne Township District, and every gallon of methanol costs $1.34. The budget for our buses, or the natural gas, is $1 million. And our total amount spent is our total amount is approximately uh, we're under budget with approximately two hundred thousand dollars. Also, um, three hundred sixty miles, which uh, which equals to sixty gallons, which fills up the bus. And they spend thirteen approximately thirteen thousand to fill sixty gallons on one bus or all buses. Some environmental impact, impacts or effects that uh, our gas is used is one, that methanol contributes to air and water pollution, which a lot of other gases do, so that's a big issue, but also not at the same time. Methanol also produces less carbon dioxide, um, and it also causes global warming, but again, a lot of other gases do, do the same thing. It's made from all renewable resources. It is also one of the most cleanest conventional fuels, which is also a really good thing for the environment. Methanol is also biodegradable. It um, actually is less toxic than uh, gasoline and regular diesel, which is what we're actually using now. So switching over would be a really good plus. And it, methanol is also less flammable than other gases. Obama supports natural gas because they are the president's and the um, government is looking for a, a more re re reliable resource and a way to save energy, and natural gas is on the top of the list. ABAG Power supports methanol and sells it cheap. There's also a government law about not being able to have anything with an open flame around a methanol vehicle. Um, just so you know, ABAG stands for Association of the Bay Area Public. Well, the disadvantages of our fuel are that methane can catch on fire or explode if it leaks from like pipes that are in your car. It takes a lot of energy to make it a fuel for the cars. It um it's not a, it doesn't use as much power like, I mean it it's not as powerful as gasoline does so it doesn't make your car as power much power it causes global warming and con contributes to water and air pollution and if methanol contaminated your water you would have to pay to get it cleaned and renewed. Some of the advantages is that methanol is cheap at one dollar thirty four cents per gallon. It produces less carbon dioxide. It is less flammable than gasoline. It is less polluting natural gas, and it is biodegradable. It is the cleanest running conventional.
fuel, and it is made from all natural gas, um, gas and resources. Um, methanol is commonly used not only for ca cars, but it's also used for house resources such as stove, a grill, or a heater. It is also very cheap, which would be good for the financial issues that the school district is going through. Like I said before, it's very useful for household uses and for the car. For example. It's better for the environment because it produces less gases, which is good because it'll pollute the air less. Alright, thank you. Questions from the audience? Scott? Why do they use dead things to make the fuel? Um, I, as far as I'm concerned, they're basically just using scraps. Like, but the one major thing is scraps that farmers use, so they can find basically just decomposed objects to make it into the gas to make it a lot more natural than what other gases do. And it, it is also a fossil fuel, so of course they would use the things that have been compressed into the ground. Joshua? Yeah, whenever you're talking about the government policies, you said that you can't have anything flammable around it. Why would that go in that category? Um, because the gas is invisible. It's an invisible gas, so if it leaked, you wouldn't be able to see it. And so if you have flames or anything by it, it can catch on fire really easily. But you could have any other like lanterns powered by like batteries or things like that. Selena? How are you supposed to get it from the airport? What do you mean by that question? Like you said that where it's like you can get it from like the airport, but how? Well, we've that's the most closest one that the where we can buy it from. We're not exactly sure where in the airport you can find it, but we could look that up after and we could get back to you on that one. Can I add on to that question? You've said there that it is a private source of fuel. Yes. So if it's not open to the public, how would we get access to that? Um, we, we found on one website that it says that even if it is private, that schools, that, that we are able to use it. So it's just private to the rest of the public, but businesses and schools and all that stuff, they can also use it. Okay. Nate? Do you need any modifications? Yes, you do. You need a new engine and a new tank, but um, in the costs that we found that were under budget includes the engine cost and modifications, but not the tank. Eric? Doesn't fracking put, put oil and drinking water around the world? Does fracking, what impacts does fracking have on the environment? It all depends on the location that you dig in. If it's near someone's well or the ocean or lake, then it can cause water pollution. But if it's not around a water source, then fracking is safe. Hmm. Um, at one part, it says that it um, emits less carbon dioxide, but what does it emit less carbon dioxide then? Like other fossil fuels that <clears throat> we would use as fuels for our cars, it emits less than, let's say, like gasoline. Since it emits, it would emit less than stuff like that that we use in everyday life. Okay. A question I had: You got in your financial, you talked about the fact that um, that this would cost us about eight hundred thousand dollars a year. Would save us eight hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, from our $1 million budget. I'm sure Dr. Butts is interested in figuring out why we haven't done this at this point. If those are accurate numbers, then this is something that we need to do ASAP. Those are some questions that we have about working on it, too, why we haven't already changed from diesel to so um, I know that one of the diesel, when the diesel group mentioned, they used some information, um, and they shared some information about methane, and their numbers were a lot different than what yours were.
The main mm -hmm. reason is we don't need fully new buses. We just need to do modifications to the engine or just get a new engine. Mm -hmm. We found out that those didn't really cost a lot, like maybe a thousand dollars, but not like a huge, huge, really? huge, huge amount. I'd like yeah. to see that information. Not like we found a million dollars. That's what some of our mechanics found out. Um, whenever you did the financial, did you include those modifications or did you just go off of what it might be for a year if you just bought the fuel? We went off um, the modica modifications for the engine, but, but we really couldn't good. really find any information about the tanks. Can you flip back to that slide for me? Oh, we're un oh, you're un so it cost eight hundred thousand, or or does it, it cost two hundred thousand total? Two hundred thousand. So it costs us two hundred thousand dollars a year. Not including the cost of the tank. I think Not in. Okay.